Dozens of people gathered in Spartanburg today to hear from the mother of Trayvon Martin, an unarmed black teenager who was killed back in 2012. Many people in the crowd have also lost loved ones unexpectedly. 7 News' Chloe Salsameda has more on the message Martin's mother shared. Sabrina Fulton lost her son Trayvon Martin 10 years ago. She's now sharing her story to try to help others work through their pain. If I did it, you can do it. Standing before a crowded group, Sabrina Fulton shared her pain. The pain that began in February 2012 when her son Trayvon Martin was killed. The 17 year old was walking in Sanford, Florida when George Zimmerman, who volunteered for a neighborhood watch group, shot him. But to lose a child, it's a different thing. It's a different kind of pain. Zimmerman claimed he acted out of self-defense and was acquitted of charges. In the 10 years that have passed, Fulton says she has not yet forgiven Zimmerman. I know at some point in time I will have to forgive, uh, yeah. but I'm not there yet. Um, Fulton still feels the pain of losing her son, but she says she finds strength in speaking to other parents who have lost their children. I did lose my son this August, um, so it's really fresh. Fulton has also written the book Rest in Power, where she discusses how she's navigated through her heartache. The pain never goes away. It's been 10 years. You think I don't miss my son? Yes. I miss my son just like anybody else, yes. any other parent, any other mom. But I felt that I had to be the voice for Trayvon Martin. I could no longer be quiet about it. Fulton says she hopes she can help others navigate through their own. I refuse to just be quiet. You're not going to just kill my son and that's it. That's right. Amen. I'm not going to go away and I'm going to fight until the last breath in my body. Fulton's book is available now. She tells us she's working on a second one. In Spartanburg, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News.